In this video, we'll learn top seven Notepad++ tab management tricks that will really help you to manage multiple files or source codes more efficiently. These are cloning tabs, moving tabs, multi-line tabs, closing tabs, read-only tabs, uh, and then we'll also look into some preferences and uh, some other miscellaneous items. So let's get started. So the very first is cloning the tabs. And so let me open Notepad++. Uh, I have Notepad++ open here. And in order to clone a tab, uh, you can see tabs right here. Uh, you just have to right click on it and then just go down where it says clone to the other view. So why would you want to do this? Well, let's say you are working on a, a really large source code and you would like to refer a part of your source code uh, while working on the other part. In such cases, you can easily uh, just clone the same file. So let, let me try that. So I have this HTML file and I'm going to right click on it and I'll clone it. Now you can see that the same file has been cloned. And now let's say I'm working somewhere down here while referring to something on the top, I can still continue to work on these uh, and still I can just keep keep the other uh, view open. So this is also called a multi-view in many times, uh, but it is very, very powerful and very effective way uh, to clone the file. So any changes that you make to one will show up on the other one also. Uh, so for example, if I add something, let me just add something here. This. And if I save it, you will see that it is also right here because it's just a clone. All right, so cloning a tab is a very effective and, and useful way uh, to compare two files. Now, if I want to remove this, all I have to do is grab this tab and then just drop it on here and it'll just go away. The other way is just to close that. So let me go ahead and clone this again. And if I close this, uh, you can go back to the way it was. There's another option to clone in uh, another instance of Notepad++. So let me right click again and go to, <coughs> well, this is only for move, but let me click this open in new instance. So if I click on that, it actually opens Notepad++, uh, the same file into just uh, another window. And so maybe at times you may want to do that as well. Uh, and so there are two options. One is right from the same window where you will see multi-view or you can open the entire Notepad++ uh, in a separate uh, window, uh, whatever file that you're working on. So that is about cloning. So let's go to the next one. Next one is pretty similar to uh, cloning, and that is moving tabs. So let's go back to Notepad++. Now, again, the the idea is the same. Let me just open another, just uh, just a separate file. So. Let's say I have this file. Well, that's pretty small. Um, maybe, yeah, yeah, this seems okay. Uh, so let's say I would like to move this tab into another view. I can right click on it and go to move to other view. And you will see that now it is into this second review. And so again, the idea is the same. If you would like to refer to another file or work on two files at the same time, you can just uh, use this tab trick uh, to just create this multi-view uh, by just moving tab or cloning tab. Again, if you want to remove this multi-view, just close this. Or if you want to keep this file open, uh, you just drag it back and then it'll, you will see that there is a single, uh, you know, single window here. Now, all of these tabs have an option to close on their own. So you can see this, this cross uh, like an icon or a button that you can click on it and it'll close it. If you don't see that, it'll be under settings. So we will go into that a little later, but that is how you can move a tab. Uh, again, if I right click on it, I can also move a particular file to a new instance of Notepad++. So if I click on that, you will see that that particular file is now opened in a separate Notepad++ window. So that is also an option. Again, if I want to remove it, I just select and drag it back here and then that window is closed. All right, so that is about moving tabs. Let's go to the next one, uh, multi-line tabs. So this is uh, a feature that not many people are aware. 
So let's say you know you're working with a lot of files. Many times I have seen uh, as the uh, you know develop developers have many many files open in Notepad plus plus. And so let me go ahead and open uh, quite a few of files, and then we'll look how this multi line can be helpful. So I'm going to select this. <coughs> Oops. <clears throat> so I selected multiple files now that I have uh, many files open. Now if you look at the tab here, it is a single line tab and you you will see this left and right arrow by which you can move left or right. <clears throat> now for the most part this is good but it might be helpful to know how many files did you open or how many files are already open in your Notepad++. So in that case you can actually enable multi line tabs. So in, in order to do that, you have to go to settings, go to preferences, <coughs> and you have to look for this tab bar right in the general section. And if you look at this second checkbox, which says multi-line, so I'm going to click on that and you will notice this tab will have a multi-line, right? And now you can see that uh, even though I'm using a different uh, dark mode and probably Notepad++ is not handling it pretty well, but if you don't have a dark mode or, or even this is not too bad, but you can see that now I have a multi-line view where I can see all the files that are open uh, with a multi-line tabs. So if you want, if you don't like this, you can always go back, go to settings, go to preferences and uncheck this multi-line under tab bar settings and it'll, it'll be just a single line. Again, it, it is only useful when you tend to have a lot of files open in Notepad++. So that is about multi-line tabs. Uh, next is fairly simple, but uh, there are some tics, uh, tr uh, tricks uh, involved with that. So closing tabs. As I mentioned that there is an option to enable uh, this cross or to close tabs on each of these tabs. So let's go to settings go to preferences again look at the tab bar <coughs> and uh, there is an option here right yep right here show close button on each tab and so if you don't do that you can see that those check boxes are gone so I I, I like this feature uh, because I can close the file right from here easily so that's that's how you can close files so if I want to close any of these you just close these now you know, earlier on we had a lot of files open, so there's another tip that or a trick that Notepad++ have recently added, and that is if you right click on a particular file, you can either close that tab, you can, or you can say, well, close everything except this file, if you want to work on a single file and just want to close everything else. And if you want to close all to the left or right, we can do that also. So that's what we are going to do. I have a lot of these files that are open, but I'm only interested in the first two. Uh, that was what we had just a little while ago. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say close all to the right. And you will see that all the files to the right of that tab will be closed. And there you go. So now we have just two tabs left. And so again, this is, we don't use often, but this can come pretty handy if you have, you know, a lot of files open or if you want to, if you like to clean up your environment, Notepad++ environment, you can close all those files that are open uh, with these multiple options. So that is about closing tabs. Let's go to the next one, which is a read only tabs. Let's say you have a particular file that you are referring to and you want to make sure that you don't make any changes to that file by mistake. Uh, and many times, you know, I've, I've seen it man, where we have a particular file and then you by mistake change it and you forget what changes you made. And so in such cases, it will be nice to make a, a, that re reference file as a read-only file. And so it's very easy to do that. You just, let's say I would like not to change this file. I want to keep it as a read-only. All I have to do is right-click on it, and there's a read-only option right here. And if as, as soon as I click that, you will see that this will become sort of disabled. As you can see, there's a small uh, lock button. And so here now, if I try to change this, it won't allow me to change because this is in a read-only mode. Now, if I want to remove it, all I have to do is right-click on it and just uncheck this read-only. But again, this is a very handy tool or a tip uh, when you don't want to you know, make changes to a particular file by mistake. So again, I can actually make it 
move to the other view just because I this is my reference file and I make a read only file or a read only tab and then I can just continue to refer to that. If I want to remove it again go back and remove that right. So that is a again a very I'll keep that open <coughs> a, a, a pretty neat little tool. Okay so the next one is tab bar preferences. Now we have already seen some of these uh, when we were trying to you know enable these check boxes and so on but let's go and try a few more so I'm going to bring this back here let's go to settings go to preferences and here right in under general section uh, there's a lot of options here a uh, tab bar options so one is for whatever reason let's say you, you would like to maximize your you know just a uh, uh, coding environment so you just don't want any tabs even to show up you can actually click this and it will hide those and so that is also an option available uh, I prefer to keep that always on because you know you would like to know what you're changing uh, so again you can hide tab bars if you need to uh, we already saw multi-line uh, if I check this it won't show because I don't have enough files open to make it really work uh, the next option is a vertical tab bar again I don't know why would you like to use it but if I enable you will see what will happen it will change these tabs into vertical tabs as you can see so uh, again it's hard to read this in a vertical mode but maybe there may be a case for it and so there is a, a vertical tab option also there are alternative icons and a lot of other items uh, so you can try these out we did look into show close button on each each uh, tab so if I click on that you can see that it's gone now uh, if I check this it will show that that close button so these are the tab bar uh, preferences again you can try it out uh, the mostly the defaults are pretty good but maybe there are times where you would like to uh, use some of these these settings uh, especially this multi-line uh, tab preference is something that I use quite often <coughs> all right uh, so the seventh one is renaming tabs or so let's let's go back um, one thing that you may not know in notepad plus plus is if you let's say you're working on a particular file let me just try a testing and then I'll save this as a test.txt all right and then later on I realized well that was not the right name I need to change the name of that so you don't have to actually open the Windows Explorer or File Explorer and add it that you can rename the file right from here. So if I right click on it and click rename and let's say I'll change to testing.txt and right from Notepad++ plus, plus I just change that file uh, name to something else. And so as you work on Notepad++ plus, plus, this can, can come handy when you just want to quickly rename the file or you or, you, or often you know there's a typo for example uh, you know if you're in hurry and then you <coughs> uh, you create a file and then later on you realize well I made a mistake there was a typo there and so you can easily rename it right from notepad plus plus without you know opening the file file manager or anything else so that is very handy also if you right click on it uh, you can even open the files uh, that the folder that that is containing that that file so I can click on that and it will open the file that uh, wherever that file is located so in, in my case it is in this location <coughs> so again if I right click on it so it will say open containing folder or open containing folder in command prompt maybe you want to do that in fact if you are running some kind of a script and you want to just quickly you know uh, just open command line you don't need to you know just always browse or type you can just simply just click on this and then this is my command line it's just already there in that folder and then I can run my Python script or whatever I'm trying to run so again this this is also a very neat little trick that will really help you to speed up your just coding environment and then finally you can also open it as a workspace uh, we haven't looked into workspace much but uh, that is also an option available now so these are the seven ones uh, uh, top seven tab management tricks uh, I'm also going to link top seven line operations tricks in Notepad++ right here. So make sure that you check that out. Uh, and if you like this video, please click on the like button. And please subscribe to my channel if you would like to learn more about Notepad++. Thank you very much.